This is North Wales Adventure Day 1. Adventures in North Wales. This is my third attempt to get up here. We have had an absolute bloody nightmare. Time for a flashback. So we were on our way, on our merry way to North Wales this weekend and there has been a little spanner in the works. It does not look like we will be getting to North Wales tonight. And away we go! <laughs> You've got to laugh or you'll cry. <laughs> well, I'll cry. I think I'm going to start a Patreon so that we can keep Buddy alive. <laughs> Keep Buddy alive. Help me keep Buddy alive. Please help me keep Buddy alive. So we have to uh, get a taxi for the 50 miles back home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Lots of alcohol tonight. Lots and lots of alcohol. Bye, Buddy. Let's save Buddy. Save Buddy the van. Save Buddy the van. They've, they've ditched us. We are like homeless people on the road. Save Buddy the van. Oh, bye, Buddy. <laughs> Off into the sunset. <laughs> bye, Buddy. I'll miss you. They've literally just ditched us by a co op. I think they just wanted to get home to be honest they just wanted to go home and have their dinner so they were like i tell you what we'll drop you off here and a taxi will be there don't know when at least it's quite pretty it's actually really pretty <laughs> there are worse places and worse worse weathers to be dropped off in we've been here for an hour we've resorted to buying alcohol and making <laughs> cocktails on the side of the parking and the guys who took Buddy the van are probably eating their dinner by now so yeah it's getting cold sun's gone hmm. after one hell of an evening yesterday we have finally made it to North Wales we've checked in to our cozy shepherd's hut which is absolutely adorable and there was cake on arrival and it's super cute and Judy is lovely who's the host and we booked it through Airbnb it's so nice and we're gonna stay there for a couple of days she's also let us book another day because of the absolute debacle we went through so we weren't able to get here yesterday so we are able to book another day and stay another day which means we will have three full days in North Wales, which is awesome. On this day, we're just going to have a little orientation. We've come to Llanberis and we know that there's a funky looking castle and a really cool lake. So I'm going to show you around. So there is parking nearby, but to be honest, I am sick to death of paying for parking. So we just found this little lay-by here um, by Shinbaris, and we're just gonna walk around instead. We could do with the stretching of the legs anyway. walked about 800 meters on the uh, side of the road and now we're coming down this little diddly and that 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 is what we're aiming for introducing Dol Badarn castle this castle was built by Llewellyn the Great back in the 13th century although it probably looks a little bit different now than what it did back then it overlooks the twin lakes of Llyn Paris and Llyn Padarn Let's go see.
This was a mighty fine tower back in its day, and the fact that it was built from stone was a really big deal. As supreme leader of the Welsh, Llewellyn could afford to build castles in stone. This was a symbol of power. A power tower, if you will. Everything was fine and dandy until Llewellyn's death in 1240. And under Welsh law, all of his heirs had a claim to become his successor. This is when it gets a little bit dark. A struggle began with no clear winner until 1255. Llewellyn's grandson, another Llewellyn, Llewellyn at Griffith, finally defeated his brothers in a battle to become the Prince of Gwynedd. But the brothers still posed a threat, so one solution was to imprison them. So obviously that's exactly what he did to his elder brother Owain Gorch. He was imprisoned for 22 years and historians believe that he was imprisoned right here in this tower. Two years is a really long time to spend anywhere. But I suppose at least he had nice views. So that was a little, a cute little orientation day. Now we're heading back to the higher car, the higher van, sorry, and I'm going to show you where we're staying. So it's the coolest place, surrounded by loads of animals, or Anivaliaid as they're called up here. Maybe I should start doing some incidental Welsh um, on this, this channel, Anivaliaid. And yeah, we're going to chill out for the evening, get plenty of rest for a full day of adventures tomorrow but yeah really cool tower you should definitely come here the Llyn which is the lake it's also really cool D, come back to me. Hi, little D. 